There we are. Okay. Hey, welcome to another episode of Something To Do. Today we are going to... Laura. Point Roberts, USA. That is either at the Pacific Northwest of U United States of America or the Southern West of Canada. Insert map here. So we're gonna go check out this little enclave and we're gonna be covering some amazing conversions. US dollars to Canadian dollars, Fahrenheit to Celsius, gallons to liters, and miles to kilometers. Wow. Wow, and apparently America is the freest country in the world. We're gonna see how free it is as well. We got some things we need to do. We need to get some sugar cereal that you can't get in Canada. That is a top priority. Gonna get a beer the size of my bicep. My biceps aren't that big, but still, uh, it's gonna be a big beer. And we're just gonna see the other stuff to do. We'll see what else there is to do in Point Roberts, USA. Come check it out. So let's go check it out. Exciting broadcast journalism here. Don't click away. It's gonna get good. We go to America. No, mate. The Titanic goes to America in five minutes. Hey, we are at the uh, Canada-US border waiting to get in. I was going to check out the wait times. So. The website says 15 minutes. Yeah, so anticipation see. is mounting. Mounting. Boundary. Exciting. We've crossed. We are officially in a foreign country. Oh my goodness. 25 miles an hour. Made it through the border in two seconds. The man was extremely friendly. He provided us with this map, which we will check out in a bit. And here we are in America, still illegal to litter, which is a good thing. Here we go, Can Am gas. A dollar eighteen a liter. A gallon. Oh, I don't know. We have arrived at the international marketplace where we will be going to shop. See what we can find. First thing about free about free America, uh, the gas wasn't free. It was cheaper though, so much cheaper, but not free. $2.70. Don't know if that's cheaper because we don't really buy these items at home, so it's we're big. not doing a good job of telling you. I think it's. This is an illegal plastic bag, which wow. is it's really thick. Yes. Cool. Okay, well we have visited the grocery store. Um, lots of different types of products. I mean, it's exactly the same stuff but uh, you have in Canada, but slightly different. We did find some cocoa pebbles for uh, a delicious lunchtime snack. I got some whole milk. Uh, I don't know if I'm exactly sure what whole milk is. Uh, I'll look it up and leave a comment below here what whole milk is. And Laura got some lactose-free milk. I think it's just like chocolate Rice Krispies. You don't like that exciting. Yeah. But um, we're sitting here at the marina. We would be sitting at a park bench, but it started to rain. We're going to enjoy some delicious American cereal. Oh, yeah. Delicious. Cool. 
Chocolate cereal. Hilarious. Mm. I got some lactose free milk. I don't know, milk's weird. Does it taste exactly the same? Pretty, pretty close, I think. Reduced fat, lactose free. But really, it's all about it becoming chocolate milk at the bottom. Yeah. Wow. Holy shit. Kids eat that for breakfast? That's breakfast food, apparently. Oh my god, I have a cavity already. Wow. Okay, we are going to enjoy our delicious American cereal meal. Hey, we are formally in America. We drove to the marina. This is yet, but uh, things definitely aren't free here. Uh, What's the plan? Let's see what the marina looks like from above, and then we will explore the four corners of Point Roberts. So, let's start getting on and checking out Point Roberts. Corner number one, Lighthouse Marine Park. Lighthouse Marine Park. I do not see a lighthouse. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah, but hey, what a beautiful little park. Look at this, nice grasslands. There's a campground right close by here as well. Looks just like the uh, west coast of Canada. It looks like, just like the west coast of Canada. How bizarre. How that works. Very cool though. I'm Old McGinty. I'm here in Port Roberts, U.S. of A. I'm here with my mongrel friend, and we're gonna play some frisbee. Wow, what a good time that was, playing frisbee here in Point Roberts. Don't be telling anybody though. Let's go to the next spot. Where are we off to next? Uh, I don't know. stop another stop for the day uh, we are here at Monument Park Monument Park was established in 1886 uh, when Canada and Great Britain drew the 49th parallel as the border between Canada and the United States this giant obelisk here it's yeah it's weird so there's some facts Let's go check out this park. But really cool, really neat. Um, great place to come down if you want to have a beach day in the summertime. way now to a different park but we are driving literally right along the US border and Canada all those houses that's Canada where we are it's not say we're on Roosevelt Way
That one? Ah, uh, yes. So a quick update where we are here. We were down here at Lighthouse Park. We started off at the marina. This is where Monument Park was. And now we've come all the way over here. We are at Maple Beach. We're gonna go check out Maple Beach and see what's up. We are taking a break here, uh, sitting next to this wall, enjoying a wonderful view just out here in front of me. Let me show you that for a sec. There is a beach that goes on for miles and miles, literally miles because we are in the US of A. And while we're sitting here enjoying the view, we're gonna have a... Beer the size of your head. Beer the size of your head. Literally, it is the size of your head. I can't believe how big the beer is here in uh, well, we got the United the States one. of America. This is a 32 ouncer. That's uh, a quart. If I worked out a little bit, I could have a bicep that big. Anyway, there's a quart of beer. Yeah, we're sharing it. It's a lot. While we're sitting here enjoying this giant uh, head-sized beer, uh, this might be a good time to review the rules. Rule number one. Nobody gets hurt. Rule number two. No leaving upset. And the third rule, stay hydrated. We're not done checking it out though, so don't click off, stick around. There is still more to come. We are going to our next location, which is... Uh, enchanted Forest. There is an enchanted forest. Meet some others. Maybe uh, there's some cool critters in this forest. We don't know. It's kind of a nice part about me in the forest. There's critters everywhere. Um, we are lost and confused in this forest. Uh, try to figure this out and hopefully we don't get lost. How cool is that? There is just a magical xylophone in the forest. Well, do we go that way? I don't know. I feel like we have absolutely no idea where we're going. Again, for probably about the third time, officially lost. Kind of lost, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got to figure out what we got to do here. Give us a second. Hey, you guys lost? We can show you the way. Just give us a ride to Canada and we'll get you out of here. Smuggle us over the border and we will look after you from there. We gotta get away from these gnomes. Yeah, this forest is uh, creepy and weird. Ah, uh, very interesting. Okay, um, yeah, we could probably make something like that work. We can probably, if you're comfortable being inside of a backpack and you gotta be really quiet when we go over the border, we can make it work. All right, as long as you can show us the way out of here, we'll get you over the border. Let's go. What do you think? Can we trust these two? 
it might be our only chance. All right, <laughs> let's do it. Let's get them out of this forest and get the hell out of the U.S. of A. Yeah, we're becoming Canadians. We're going to become Canadians. <laughs> let's go. Keep up. Come on. Hurry up. I gotta get out of here. It'll be dark soon. Let's go. Okay, very cool. We have uh, finished that. One last stop. Don't put barriers on our lives. But um, we there's uh, another park to explore. Uh, we go off to Lily Point Marine Park next. Let's go check it out. of uh, an attacking owl. Takes us around in a nice little loop and get us down to some of the water and we're gonna go explore. I think we found the owl that's attacking people, but uh, we made friends. He's, he's okay with us. He's feeling pretty calm today. It was pretty calm. I really don't want to get attacked by an owl. I... Very cool trail down a long bank with lots of zigzaggy switchbacks and coming out onto what looks like a beautiful beach. It might not be sunny, but it's still really, really nice. Not windy, but raining a little bit. Here we are. At What's the name of this park again? Lily Point or something? Lily Point Marine Park. Here we are hanging out down here. Uh, sometimes I get an emotional response about having peace of mind knowing that uh, Vivarium covering all of our life insurance needs. Absolutely. And if you're looking for a new life insurer and you want to join the amazing Vivarium community, you can use our discount code. What is it, babe? Uh, it's product code Vivarium. Uh, 2-987. Uh, it's got that weird little slanty thing over the letter E, and then uh, backslash 8, and that weird squiggly, yeah. Yeah, that'll take you to another site that you download um, another app that you're going to put onto your desktop, and then when you click on that app, it will take you to another third party where you just have to enter another code. What was that code? 7829 apostrophe J period capital S and then T U with a like little triangle hat over it and then simple and then you get two and a half percent off. Two and a half percent off on your coverage of Bavarium. Bavarium, life insurance, life insurance, Bavarium. North, northest, westest. North, north, westerly, or something. Something part of America, United States. Um, it's really nice. So if you ever are uh, coming up from the states, looking for uh, a very neat place to come, uh, check it out. And if you're from Canada, also highly recommend come and checking out Point Roberts. Thanks for staying with us this far. We have officially found the tack owl. It is right in there. Another viewpoint, again. No whales, but still really glorious. Saw some seals and that owl was pretty great. Seals, owl, eagle. Yep, lots of eagles. Somebody had a dog, but I've seen lots of dogs before, but. Uh, really, really good. Nice. Glad we came out to this little area. All right, it is quarter after six and we are headed back to Canada. It's like there is pretty much no border wait time. All 
great success. That took about three minutes to cross the border. There was no line and we had all our documents ready to go. He had no problem with the fact that we got some milk and cereal and some novelty sized beers. So now beers. we are just going to make our way through Sawasin, Delta, whatever, and back to beautiful Vancouver. We will show you a map of how we got here from downtown. Probably should have mentioned at the beginning. Downtown Vancouver, down the highway south to Sawasin and into Point Roberts. Really good, nice and easy. We escaped to Canada. Yeah, Canada. Point Roberts. It was good. Good to visit. Anyway, Thanks for coming along to the adventure in Point Roberts. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Dana and Laura would definitely like you to like and subscribe. We already did. I already have a YouTube account. What is it? And I'm gonna, I guess, I guess I'm gonna try to find a job. Like and subscribe. All right, cut it, cut it.